No, you know what? From here on out, I, I need to stop being like Greg. I need to take this as a sign. We need a positive fish mental attitude. Like, yeah, I don't really understand how vents are going to help us get to the ocean. But you know, as long as we're doing anything, as long as we're moving forward, then that's good. That's a positive thing. And everything is conveniently bucket-sized, which is great. you got to appreciate that it's all very fish accessible. Do you think there would be a giant choppy fan at the end of the- No, that would be negative. We're not thinking negative anymore. Ah. Uh, oh, I really ruined someone's day. Make that week. Oh, no, make that, make that month. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to I Am Fish, that game where even though we have a 7 second long memory, and the uncanny ability to dry out faster than a rain puddle on the sun, we're still gonna take over the world. Now the next step in our little fishy revenge plan is to stop being hundreds of feet underground, like you can't take over the world if you're trapped inside of it. Uh, oh right, last episode we ended off by taking an elevator. I had no idea how far it was going to take us. Well, that was easier than I had expected. We spent an entire video balls deep in the earth trying to escape. Because it's not exactly a great place for uh, fish in general, nonetheless a flying fish. But the biggest thing was that we had uncovered a secret lab? Which, on second thought, we may have never actually left. Right? You'd have to be a mad scientist to make people sit in those all day. Whether we're fully out or not doesn't really matter, because this lab was a monumental discovery. Because it's responsible for everything. Not just I Am Fish, but I Am Bread and Surgeon Simulator. Because they're the ones who made Bob. Or, or Bob's. Plural, the, the patient from Surgeon Simulator. He's not a real person. He was designed to be some kind of dummy to train surgeons until he gained sentience and he escaped into the world. And it turns out it's really hard to tell the difference between a fake human and a real human where they're designed to be anatomically correct. But they found out that if you add a little bit of Bob's blood to an inanimate object, then it reacts around a Bob. That's how they're going to find them. So the mad scientist's son, who is a baker, Use the blood to make bread, hence I am bread, and then we ate the bread, bada bing, bada boom, I am fish. With high voltage cable management like that, are you really surprised that their Frankensteins managed to escape? <laughs> like tossing a couple rugs over it doesn't make it any less a tripping hazard or a pain in the ass to fish in buckets. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. This is going to suck. Okay, come on now. We don't have any wind. I'm not going for the bread. I just want to get out of here. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're trapped in another bubble. I don't see how that's... Oh, wait, of course that's going to help us because now we can go wherever we want except for the ground because that's going to smash us. <laughs> Calm your tits there, flying fish. God damn it. Okay. Maybe we will go get that bread after all. What the hell do I keep hearing? You do hear that, right? Like, it, it sounds like every now and then somebody's blow drying their hair before getting back to fixing their FM radio antenna. <laughs> I don't know what's involved with making a bob and I don't want to find out, but I'm not seeing any easy ways to get off this table. Maybe I can break this chair? If I replace the weight of uh, a floaty, bouncing crumb of bread with a not-so-floaty, definitely-not-bouncing fish, then maybe I'd get somewhere. You see, I, I tend to shatter rather than bounce, hence the problem with jumping off things, uh, unless this rug is particularly soft, maybe? Okay, there we go. <laughs> now... Let's go introduce ourselves to the mad scientist slash repairman slash hairdresser or whatever the Christ is going on here. I am so incredibly confused. <laughs> what have we got here? Uh...
Oh my god, we're in an airport. How did I end up in an airport? <laughs> well, this is a very different kind of flying fish. Uh, of course they want me to go out onto the rafters. Um, could I maybe not? Is that a possibility? How about not? Even though I don't really mind the rails. You know, I, I, I can't screw this up because I'm, I'm not even in control. I'm perfectly fine with relinquishing control and feeling safe in the arms of these beautiful rails. I'm in good hands, trust me. If everything is going to be fine, it's when I'm the one steering that we're gonna have real problems. How the hell am I gonna get from an airport to downtown? Like, I, I can't exactly take a taxi, but I gotta get to the ocean somehow. Oh, okay, more rails, perfect, thank you. I would love to be on you right now so long as I can slam on the fishy brakes, Jesus Christ. I don't know if this game makes my heart jump up into my throat because my commentary goes wonky or makes my heart fall out my butthole because it's definitely puckering quite a bit, but it's, it's pissing me off. Okay, when I said that I was in good hands, I didn't expect those hands to get formed into a fist and shoved up my ass. I was just thinking, I wonder if one of these people is a Bob. Like, are the Bobs trying to escape the country? It would make sense, but I don't know how I'm going to react to coming into contact with a Bob. Because I ate the bread, and the bread acts weird around Bob. That's the whole reason the scientist made the bread to begin with, so my little fishy brain may start to spasm. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, okay. Those rails look promising, because they're going down, and I would like to go down in a controlled manner. Okay, out of the way, pickle box. Why is this stuff up in the ceiling? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> Okay then, let's just uh, go ahead and use our fishy momentum to get this out of the way. Choo choo! Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. No, there's no way I can do this. Right? Maybe I can do this? I can do this. Yeah, you know what? Manifest destiny. I can do this. I, I can't do this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, as much as I would love to take those rails down, I think we may have another option over here? I want to land in one of those fountains is the end goal, but I don't necessarily need to gently slide into them. I could just fall from a great height and smash this bubble. What's the difference? I just need to get over them and then we'll be in the clear. So maybe for this way? It's something like this? Oh. Interesting. Okay, yep, they're, oh, I missed! No, I missed again! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I had so many opportunities to survive. You know what, I take back everything nice I've ever said. Uh, not just about the rails, in general. Like, I'm one salty fish right now. I wanna be in that damn fountain. And I know that this rail is the right way, because it, it tapers out, so clearly I'm going to fall between them eventually, and that would lead me into the fountain. And there you have it. This is what success looks like. Uh, whoops. Never mind, we're gonna control Z that oops real quick because I need to stop thinking like a fish and start thinking like a flying fish again. I don't even need to check in bags. I don't have that stupid bubble weighing me down anymore. We just need to be positive. I could be right next to the ocean for all I know. I'm not next to that checkpoint, that's for sure. Oh, okay, uh, we're, we're just gonna steer a little bit. I hate steering. No, no, not like this. Fading quick. No, no, you've got to be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say, come on, you're going to be kidding me. What kind of disappointing fish rim job is this? Get your minds out of the gutter, okay? You know what I mean. Okay, uh, over, over this way? I guess we're going over this way. Hello, Mr. Shark. Distant relative of mine, I'm sure. Oh, I... Listen, your depth perception is a little off when your eyes are on either side of your head. 
Let's try that again, except for this time, we won't get Judas by the Great White. Would really appreciate it, my dude. Just let me get around you, and I really don't want to dry out, so I won't. Beautiful. I love that he always turns around to look at us like, we're doing it! <laughs> I believe in you, Bluefish! Do you think that janitor would notice if we borrowed his mop bucket for a couple of minutes? I mean, he's sweeping right now, so we might be able to get away with things. I just really don't want him notifying TSA. Even though, in all reality, they may be fingers deep in people right now, a little bit preoccupied, don't want to deal with grand theft bucket. Okay, there we go. Now, are we good? Yeah, you just keep doing your best sexy Mr. Clean impression, sweeping with all your ass, and I'll be over here in departures. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting away with this. Okay, so I just need to worry about really rude people knocking me over. Easier said than done. I can guarantee the second I roll behind this guy, he's gonna turn around and Chuck Norris me into the Shadow Realm. You see what I mean? So, we're gonna maintain social distancing. I, I may not be worried about getting sick, clearly, because I'm in an airport mop bucket. Doesn't get much dirtier than that, but I still really don't want anybody kicking my bucket, because then I'll kick the bucket. They could just roam around all they want. I'm gonna try not to piss people off by cutting through lines. Lady, no, no, don't be like that. <laughs> oh, great! An escalator. These things will eat children because of shoelaces. What is it gonna do to me? I'm not exactly seeing any other options here, folks, so we may just have to give it a try. <laughs> this feels so wrong. Please tell me the bucket fits. Should I be bringing it in, like, sideways? Because I don't think I can really control this thing. Oh. Okay. Well, that was far easier and more anticlimactic than I had thought. <laughs> All right then, so, what's waiting for us on the second floor? Probably not the ocean, I would imagine. I swear to God, my objective is just out the window. Literally. Please, I just need a holiday. I must have lost my passport. It's been a rough week. Oh no, Greg! <laughs> You can have this bucket if you want. I know I, I took your bucket, but man, he's taking it hard. And I don't really want to wait in line, to be perfectly honest, so... I guess we could always take the ventilation system. This seems like a mistake and a half. No, you know what? From here on out, I, I need to stop being like Greg. I need to take this as a sign. We need a positive fish mental attitude. Like, yeah, I don't really understand how vents are gonna help us get to the ocean, but as long as we're doing anything, as long as we're moving forward, then that's good. That's a positive thing. And everything is conveniently bucket-sized, which is great. You gotta appreciate that it's all very fish accessible. Do you think there would be a giant choppy fan at the end of the- No, that would be negative. We're not thinking negative anymore! Ah! Uh, oh, I really ruined someone's day. Make that week. Oh, no, make that, make that month. <laughs> I'm seeing some water down there next to something that's sparking, which is concerning. I might be able to jump down there, or maybe not. I don't know if I can very easily jump out of this bucket, because it, it's got the mop guard on it. I'm just gonna smack my stupid soft skull off of that. Could I maybe dump myself in there? If we tried a little something like this? Oh, okay, okay, no, that, that's, that's close enough for me, because that'll make the jump a whole lot easier. There we go. Oh. I see. So people's luggage is filling with water, and I should be able to get in there and then travel through the airports? What am I in right now? <laughs> should I be concerned? This is actually gonna be a really tricky jump because I can't see what I'm doing. Steer the fish. Oh. <laughs> All right, now 
Do I wait here or is there a point where I need to get off? I'm worried that it's going to chuck me like it did the earlier one. Uh, this looks pretty safe. Okay, yeah, we're on a little carousel. We're going places. I like it. Maybe. This seems fine. Wait a second. Are we sure this is a good thing? I mean, eventually all this luggage is supposed to end up in a plane. I really don't want to take a plane anywhere. I, I, I can fly on my own. Thank you very much. Oh, we got a bubble. Okay, uh, how am I going to do this? It's going to have to be like a, a jump and then a, a, a delayed opening. Okay, okay, steer, steer. I can't steer the fish. What is happening right now? Please, <laughs> come on, just slip into it. So you know what? I'll take it. So that room is quickly flooding. People's property is being destroyed, and I have somehow yet to be stopped, so you really gotta wonder what security is up to. <laughs> Again, busy looking for stuff in buttholes would be my guess, but I'm not one to judge. Part of me wishes I could go back and help Greg find his passport now that I think about it, but I also am kind of pissed because he's crushed me into a pate more than once. I really prefer not to be the consistency of something spread on crackers, so let's just uh, take everything in stride and make our way back the way we came. If this is the same room. Oh, I guess we're technically on a, a, a different path now, but I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, this place is flooding real quick. <laughs> not my problem, but still, you are gonna feel at least a, a little bad. I don't like the look of this. Okay, okay, careful. Oh, okay, just, we're, we're in control. We're in control. We're, you see, if you keep saying you're in control, then it doesn't matter how many cracks you get in your ball. Oh, 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 tits. Uh, you know, we really, really need to get in front of one of these things. I can't roll uphill particularly easy. Okay. <laughs> see, we're in control. Everything is fine, guys. Just manifest fish destiny. It's like I've been saying this entire time. Oh, more water. Okay, that's rude. Um, uh, come on, squirm, squirm. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Great. Now what? Again, I need to time things with a suitcase that's both open and full of water and going where I want it to go, which I would assume is this third one. Okay, no, you're, you're going to the second one? That's really rude. <laughs> Fine, I'll take you. You've got water in you, right? Beautiful, take me wherever you want. Second one, sure, works for me. <laughs> I assume, maybe. Does it work for me? I'm assuming like one is gonna go to an incinerator, one is gonna go to the wrong country, and then one is gonna go to the proper airplane because that's how airports seem to work. I was enjoying being able to see. Could, could you maybe not, please? Oh yeah, that definitely would have led somewhere else. <laughs> and that would have definitely led somewhere else. So we're on some kind of path. Oh, there is so much happening in here. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, Should I just make a move for that water down there? Or should I follow this through here? I think I'm just gonna stay in my suitcase. I feel like moving around is probably a mistake. Right? Nope. Nope, moving was the right thing to do. Damn it. Well, I've been doing the suitcase shuffle for the better part of 15 minutes now, but I still don't feel like I'm any closer where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I swear to God, whose balls do I have to gargle to flap wings around here? Because I really do feel like if I put a little bit of effort into my flying, it would go a long way. And by it, I mean me. This is the furthest I've ever been. Oh. That one has a green light over it. So maybe not fish heaven? <laughs> Fingers crossed. All the other ones did have red lights. Okay. Yeah. Not losing my mind. And this is like the opposite end of the room. So, you know, gaming mechanics and stuff would make me get stuck. No. Not like this. <laughs> please, please. There we go. Thank you, other suitcase. Much appreciated. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't. Okay, I'll take, oh, I'm in a plane. Son of a bitch, what, why? Every time, why? Oh, I can roll this suitcase. 
Okay. That's definitely better than blind jumps. I don't suppose I could find a way out of the plane particularly easily. I'm really good at falling long distances, and if this thing is over the ocean, then we're done. That's the end game. I don't know why I thought this was so bad. I don't even need a parachute. I could fly my own way down. No, I don't think I would last nearly as long as I would need to. Come on. Okay, there we go. Good jump. Way to go, little buddy. This is somehow working. I didn't even think, like, these cabins were all pressurized. Right? Shouldn't I be, like, suffocating right now? Or very, very cold? Like, if a shampoo bottle would explode, then why wouldn't a tiny fish? But a big red button in the bottom of a plane is probably a good thing. Can I, uh... Uh-oh. Oh! We haven't even taken off yet. Is that good or bad? Because I feel like that's bad. Right? Maybe we'll just wait it out? Are we actually on a runway, I wonder? I don't know. I'm gonna hope that we see ocean soon. Oh, it's closing! No! Okay, screw the ocean! We gotta get out of here one way or the other! Oh! Oh! This is the ocean! We're good! Right? Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. That was such a crazy level, I can't believe that. So now we can go find our little friend who's been signaling and waiting for us for a very long time now. I don't know what the lifespan of a goldfish is, but uh, yeah, you look tired. Don't worry, buddy, the family's coming. I'm working on it as fast as I can, I swear. Interesting. Now we can amplify the signal and go, go get the rest of them. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of I Am Fish, guys. And I gotta say, I'm just really excited to see how all of this is gonna come together. Not just the story of the fish, but also the story of Bob's and the story of Bread and of the surgeon. And like, I just feel like the ending of this game is gonna be really cool for a bunch of different series that I've done on this channel. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to bite or blow something soon. I, I mean the two remaining fish that we need to find. D d don't take that out of context. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.